Hi guys, so today is Monday, July 29th, currently around 2.40 p.m. And I'm actually slightly in a rush right now, but I am currently getting ready for my senior pictures, which is so, so crazy to me that this is even happening. But these are not like the senior pictures I think that you guys are probably thinking of. These aren't the ones that like you hire a photographer for and you pick out like various outfits and you like go to different locations. Like it's not the personal senior picture. What my school likes to do is for the yearbook, for seniors instead of having like the basic school photos for seniors we go in during the summer or like towards the end of the summer to like a professional photography studio and get like what they call a professional senior portrait done which basically means like they take a more professional picture of us versus like the regular just like school picture ones that we've taken in previous years so yeah it's not like the senior pictures that you like hire someone for and they do have like a slight dress code they want guys to wear like a button-down shirt or like I don't think they make them wear a full suit but just something like that I don't really know all I know is for girls they want us to wear like they recommend a long sleeve because they claim like it's better for like a professional portrait and they just recommend like darker colors such as black or navy I don't think you can have your shoulders showing or maybe they just don't recommend it of course today I have my senior pictures I have a little eczema flare up on my eyelid which you can't really see thank god I honestly don't remember what else was a part of their like dress code it wasn't really Really anything like super strict or anything you still have a say in what you want to wear basically but they just had a bunch of strong recommendations and basically like you get kind of like assigned a time and a date for your appointment if it doesn't work for you you can change it but my appointment is at 3 25 today and I didn't realize that the photography studio is 30 minutes away so I gotta leave in like five minutes luckily I didn't want to do anything for my hair I was thinking about curling it I'm not gonna lie but I was thinking like for my senior portrait I kind of just want to be like myself and I showered this morning So usually curled hair is better on second day hair, but I didn't want my hair to be like greasy So I feel like it's honestly looking pretty good today I'm trying to do good enough makeup to wear like obviously it looks more professional than like regular day-to-day -day makeup But it's not so much where it's gonna look I don't know cakey or whatever on my picture I have heard from other people that you get there They just take a bunch of photos and then you leave and then you get to pick the one that you want to order and the one you want in the yearbook like online I'm still hoping they're gonna let me like see the pictures that I take there before I leave just so I know there's at least one that I'm gonna like you know what I mean like I don't want to go home and not have options that I like so hopefully they'll let me see at least some of them and I heard it does go pretty quickly but I definitely need to head out so here is the final look for my senior portrait like I said I'm just wearing this black long sleeve and then just jean shorts on the bottom because that doesn't matter Guys, this is so sad. I just finished my pictures. It literally took like 10 minutes, not even. Basically at the photography studio, you just have to check in and choose like what package you wanna do, which for me, I just wanted the yearbook picture cause if I'm gonna do like senior pictures, I'm gonna do them like with a photographer. I feel like I can go somewhere rather than in the studio, if that makes sense. I didn't know I still had to pay like $40 for a studio fee. I thought the school covered it since it's a yearbook photo, but apparently not. So I checked in, I paid, I waited for like five minute they called me back what was nice is that we took them from like different angles like I started out turned more to my right and then I turned this way like different head tilts I think I got like six to eight photos total it literally took like five minutes unfortunately though I can't see them until they're uploaded online in like three to four days and then I choose which one I want in the yearbook I wish I could have seen them but I couldn't so yeah currently 345 and that I think is like the first step in my senior year festivities which is really sad honestly like I just don't even have words but I got that done which is good i will find my photo online in a few days and pick it out for the yearbook i also do have registration coming up and a bunch of stuff so yeah glad i got that done Hi guys, so I wanted to pop in and quickly talk to you about today's video sponsor, which is ESR, and I'm so, so excited to show you guys a little bit about them. ESR is a brand that sells high quality tech accessories, and as you guys may or may not know, I recently got a new iPad, and I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot more, not only for school, but also just for work in general, so it's gonna be coming with me basically everywhere I go. And so obviously I wanna keep it protected. ESR sent me three products that are absolutely perfect, and the first product is their Shift Magnetic Case. So this is what the case looks like. It has this perfect little pocket for 
your Apple Pencil. The case has so many different ways that you can stand up your iPads that it's sitting at different levels based on how you want it. And the coolest thing about it is obviously like you can have it sit like your regular iPad, but the rubber case that's actually holding your iPad is actually magnetically detachable. You can rotate your iPad to have it sit vertically like this. And the magnet on this case is very, very strong. So your iPad is not going anywhere. ESR also sent me their paper feel magnetic screen protector. It is currently on my iPad. Basically, it's a screen protector that when you write on it, it has a texture that makes it feel like you're writing on paper versus like the glass that the iPad comes with. But the cool thing about this screen protector is it's actually magnetically attached. Such a cool concept. I can pull up and just remove it as simple as that. But once you want to use it again, line it up with your iPad screen and boom, you have a screen protector. And then lastly, they did also send me their regular tempered glass screen protector, which for any piece of technology, in my opinion, is a must have. Also, these are super easy to apply and I'm so happy that I'm able to have some for this upcoming school year as it'll keep my iPad protected. Also, we all know that Apple has their annual education promotion. So to maximize your guys' savings, ESR is also running a back to school promotion and they're offering discounts from 10% off to 40% off so make sure to click the link in the description down below to go check them out thank you so much to esr for sponsoring today's video currently 7 46 in the morning it is monday august 5th and today is my senior registration it is so incredibly early right now so my brain is not exactly thinking straight but this morning basically i go to the school to like take my id photo and get my id get my parking pass make sure my class list is still accurate pick up my textbooks for my classes pick up like anything that i purchased for school for example like i got a class shirt so i gotta pick that up also i have to just turn in these forms that we have to turn in every year i have this stack of papers that I need to bring and I'm gonna go through registration with my friend I don't know how much I'm gonna film there just because registration is usually pretty chaotic basically what I'm gonna bring is I get to bring my normal like bagu bag and like three of these papers are actual forms that like were required to submit for school and then two of these are printed out receipts my parking pass that I purchased and then also this like senior package that my school offers basically you pay like a certain amount of money if you're a senior and you get like all of your dance tickets early a senior class photo, like a panoramic, senior brunch, a yearbook, your class shirt, like it just comes with everything and you need to bring like the receipt to show them. So I need to bring these papers. To be honest, I think that's all I really need to bring. And the picture that I take today, it doesn't really matter. It's just the one for my ID because the senior portrait that you guys saw me take the other day is the one that goes in the yearbook. Also, I got to look back at those photos and I picked out the one that I wanted. Here's the one that I ended up picking. Oh, so cute. Like I said, this is the senior portrait that goes in the yearbook so that's super fun it is a few days later and I forgot to talk to you guys more about my registration. So much was happening at once that I was just so distracted. So let me give you guys a little registration haul, I guess. First up, I got my new ID. My picture this year I really like, which is kind of unfortunate because it's not the one that goes in the yearbook since we did senior portraits. But this is my picture. It's low-key kind of hard for you guys to see, but I'm very happy with it this year. For my school, you can buy like a pack of things for school, if that makes sense. Like for our ID cards, you can either have a regular one or an ASB one. ASB does not mean you're like in ASB. It basically just gives you discounts on like football tickets, dance tickets, stuff like that. And so if you buy that, it comes with like other things as well. So I got a free little school spirit shirt, which I have so many of these shirts. It also comes with a free like school planner, which is nice, although I already bought my own. Of course, they handed out so many different papers. I did also get my parking pass. I did get a really good spot this year. And then I got this huge stack of textbooks. I don't think I've ever gotten so many textbooks in a school year. I thought 
thought we were starting to move more to like online textbooks because theoretically almost every textbook is offered online yet they still hand out all of these and I just leave them at my house because I don't use them. So let me just show you guys the ones that they gave me. This one is for my AP Lit class. This one's for AP Stats. For my history course this year, I'm doing a combined class. So it's technically two different like APs in one year and it's like one class, if that makes sense. So it's AP Gov and then also AP Econ. For the Econ part, we have an economics textbook. And then for the Gov part, we actually have two textbooks. I'm not sure why. And then lastly, we have this one for AP Psych. So I literally have a textbook for every single class except for yearbook, obviously. Overall registration did go very smoothly. Like I said, there was a lot going on, so it did take a lot longer than I was expecting. Usually you just can kind of like walk through it. It wasn't that it was super busy. It was just so much was like going on. As of today, I think I have like 12 days left before school starts, which is really sad, but also exciting. I've been hanging out with my friends recently and a lot of us are actually pretty excited to go back to school. Today, what I need to do is get my school supplies all ready and like set up for packing my bag for school. I am gonna film a what's in my backpack later today, but before I do that, I need to get all my school supplies like put together because right now it is just all in this Target bag and everything is still in like the packaging and I want to get like my notebooks, folders, labeled, like just stuff ready to go. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so my floor is looking a little messy. Basically what I did is I unpacked pretty much all of the supplies. All the stuff that goes in my pencil case are in here. All the stuff that goes in my emergency pouch are in here. My little portable battery and cord, I'll just like put in my backpack somewhere. I also took off the new labels and stickers on my water bottle. For my folders, I labeled each one for each class and then I just put some loose leaf paper in each one. I didn't really do much for my notebooks. I just took off like the different labels. I did start filling out some of my planner, like my name, contact info, some stuff for August. Trash went in there and then all my extra supplies are here. For example, me and my sister are sharing like a lot of these things, like these post-its, this Aquaphor pack, whiteout, pretty much everything here we were sharing. So I took what I needed and then the rest I left in the packaging for her. So now I will put it all in my school bag and film a what's in my backpack for this year. You guys have been absolutely loving my school supplies haul video, which I love because that is one of my favorite type of videos to film every year. And I'm really excited to show you guys how I'm going to organize my school backpack as well. So it is the night before school. I don't know what the last time I filmed was, but I kind of didn't realize like how fast this was coming. I got my nails done like yesterday or the day before with my friends. Here's how they turned out. They're like little flowers and French tips. Literally one of my favorite sets I think I've ever gotten. They're so cute. It is currently 9.30 p.m. I start school tomorrow. It's my senior year, cannot wait. I just picked out my outfit for school and so I'm wearing it right now because I was trying it on. I think I'm gonna do this garage top and blue jean shorts and then my pink Adidas because for bracelets, I have this permanent one, these two beaded ones, and then this little one my sister got me from New York. I also packed my bag, so let me show you. Basically, what my school is doing is they're doing this, like, welcome week thing, which basically for the first, like, day or two, we're not supposed to bring, like, a backpack, technically, because it's supposed to be just a bunch of, like, icebreakers and getting to know people. Like, we're not supposed to have any assignments at all. So, technically, tomorrow is no backpack day, but I'm still gonna bring a bag anyway because I have stuff to bring. So, here's the bag of choice. This is my bagu. And she fits quite a lot. So let me just show you guys real quick. This is my emergency pouch. If you watched my what's in my backpack or my school supplies haul, I show you guys what's in here. That takes up the majority of the space. I do have a school planner in here for my friend because she lost hers and I'm not gonna use mine because I have a different one. So I'm gonna bring that to her tomorrow. And then I have this extra pack of tissues because I low-key have a cold, unfortunately. So I have those. I have my keys. I did put like two pencils and a pen in here, which technically we're not supposed to need, but I figured I'll put it in there anyway. And then I'm bringing some snacks. Not 
not really a lunch because I don't think I'll need it. And then a water bottle. I'm going to bring my Awala, which does fit in here. I already tried it out. I washed it, so I'll fill it up tomorrow morning. But I'll probably end up just carrying it because I don't want to put too much in here. What I need to do tonight is just basically do an everything shower and double check. I have stuff ready for tomorrow. Try to get as much sleep as possible. I am going to film a like get ready with me. So that'll be a separate video. the shower it is currently 10 23 p.m i did a full body shower so i was able to shave which makes me feel so good always i didn't realize how much i'm like low-key breaking out on my forehead not super fun but it's okay i'm gonna try to get as much sleep as i can get i did forget to show you guys i got a new case also i have my retainer in so don't mind my talking but not specifically for school but like low-key if you guys remember over the summer i just had this clear pink case from amazon obviously throughout all like our beach trips travel and just like use it has gotten a little dirty it's not that noticeable on camera, but it's like yellowed a little bit. Not the case anymore. So I got this one from Wildflower. I thought it was so cute. It's like pink floral, has little yellow, dark pink, and light pink flowers on it. I just think it's adorable. Wildflower cases are my absolute favorite. They're so protective and so, so cute. So that's my little phone case to start off this year. It low-key kind of matches the vibes of my nails a little bit. I'm all showered. I feel really good. I'm going to try to get as much sleep as I possibly can. And like I said, I'm filming a get ready with me for my first day of my senior year as a separate video. So look out for that. I hope you guys all have a great start to your school year. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I currently do not have a posting schedule. I just post whenever I have a video ready. With school, it'll get a little more complicated, but I will try my best to get at least one video out a week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!